Okay, we'll move on to race number 27. This will be our Superstock 340 free air machines coming up again. And this is a final. This is a final here. So Tom Castribo will be back out again on the number two, John Padgett's number two, two machine. Mitch Giesking out of Titanic, Iowa will be coming out on the number 17 Yamaha. Then Dave Rieger will bring his Polaris, the 156, out of Little Falls into the party. Andy Stowey also comes out. Andrew Stowey again out of Detroit Lakes will be on the 049. Then John Padgett will be out on the Padgett Cycle Shop, number two, that little 250 Polaris of his. Then you got the veteran Jay Rickard out there in the Rickard Excavating, number 96 out of Glencoe, Minnesota. Also sponsored by Hilton Spreaders. Then you got Kyle Ludwig out there again on the number 777. Dale Stensrud on the, D, the 222. Dale's out of Alden, Minnesota. And then out of Alexandria, Minnesota on the Mies Outlet, number 50, you'll have Jared Joe. So that's your lineup out there. There comes Rieger going to the inside up there right now. On his Polaris, the 156. He's been really good. This should be an interesting race. We'll hear Geesking here again. Good to have Mitch back again up here racing again. He makes a trip up here from Iowa. Marcus Iverson's down here. Marcus actually lives in Langdon, North Dakota, which is, well, it's about as far as uh, you're going to get away from here as you can get between that and the, uh, No, he's not here on this one here, I don't think, here again yet. But, so they drop the green. Here they go again. Boy, Mitch Gieskin got that Yamaha out of the chute in a hurry. And Gieskin out of Tatanka, Iowa, takes the lead in this one here, early on this one here. Now let's see if they can gun him down down the back straightaway. Now they pick up the speed. Let's see who's got the speed on the straightaway. They dial it up into turn three. Giesking with the lead right now. And as they come off the high side, I think that's Rieger trying to make a move on the outside of him down the front straightaway. No, that's Jay Rickert. Rickert up there. And again, right the inside of him is Dave Rieger. So a good battle. Three slits for the front of the pack. And Jay Rickert with an outside pass. What a move by Rickert down the back straightaway. Well, wait a minute. Here comes Giesking. And he powers his way right by Rickert again. He takes the lead back into turn three. As they battle, here comes Rickert in the 156 behind him. Off turn four, your leader right now is going to be record. And now Andy Stowey came out of nowhere out of Detroit Lakes on the old 49. Now he's up in second place. And things are really starting to shuffle in this one here. East King sitting third right now gets alongside Stowey and retakes the number two spot. Good battle for second. So Mitch Geese King goes in that number two spot. They come up to the flag again. Here comes Jay Rickert. Rickert's going to get the win out there in the 96. Stowey second. Geese King third. Rigert fourth out there, and the 222 of Dale Stensrud in fifth. Boy, good race out there again on that uh, Superstock 343 air final. That was a final out there, so that's another win out there again for Jay Rickert to add to his list for the year. Now we're going to bring in race number 28 now coming up. And then after that, we'll be doing a plow break because you know what's coming up after that? The pro lights for round number two. That ought to be fun. But first of all, we got the women's 85 and older leaf spring machines coming up. And this should be a fun one because you got Jasmine Braith, she'll jump on. Brandon Barber's number 72 machine, she's fun to watch. And you got Kim Linden, uh, she'll jump on the 26. That might be Rupp's machine out there. And then the 5J of Ellery Jacoby coming up. Also the 86, you can see Claire Jensen rolling in out there. Here they come out there again. Kayla Newman's out today on their 83. That should be a Rupp. Kayla comes out with, we'll wait till, yep, there she comes. Good to have Kayla back out here again. Jennifer George on that number 11. You know that 11's been up front all day. So there it is again. We got six dynamite ladies getting after this. This women's 85 and older. And this is the final, folks. So this is the, the big one. Here they go. They drop it again. Good jump into turn one. The 72 of Jasmine Braith on the outside. Boy, if you get her out front, she could disappear in a hurry. And she really making some time down that back straightaway. Again, these are 85 and older machines out there right now. And I think, if I'm not mistaken, that looks like Jasmine Braith. And boy, she is cooking. Here comes Braith down that front straightaway. Yep, looking good at 72. And that thing is flying out there right now. Here comes second place, the 26th of Kim Linden. And now Jennifer George powers that uh, 72 machine of hers up here, or 11 machine, excuse me, up into third place. Jennifer George up into third right now. Again, they go down to turn three. Here comes Jasmine by right now. White flag that time through for Jasmine Braith. And boy, she's got a strong run going here. There's Kim Linden still in second, followed by Jennifer George in third on that 11. Nice job. Jennifer's been really good, too. Uh, Right behind her, of course, you can see Ellery Jacoby in the 5J. Good battle by them gals back there. And boy, there it is. 
How about that, Jasmine Braith, and that 72 was dialed up and flying out there. She's going to win the women's 85 and older least spring final here uh, today here again in Gray Eagle again on Trace Lake. Okay, well, we're getting about ready to move on again. We're getting past the halfway point of our show now a little bit here, so we're starting to roll right along here. Now we'll come down. After this, it's getting to be, uh, I think we got one more, uh, just a couple of... Uh, qualifiers to go on and a couple B mains after that everything is all finals so it's going to be getting real busy out there again and yep looks like uh, Christy's got all the finals set up again for all three of the F500s that's coming up here very shortly too in race number 36 so we're going to back her down again here for all you folks out there again watching on cool TV land again thanks for joining in with us here uh, we'll be off for 12 14 minutes again I suppose and uh, we'll get this thing dialed up so if the screen goes dark on you don't panic it's, it'll be showing a Probably just showing that we are coming back, and we will be back. So we'll get the backer down, grab some munchies for you folks here that are at the race day. Stay warm. It's a cool day out here again. The wind is howling pretty good, but beautiful day other than that. The sun's shining. So we'll be back here in just a few minutes again uh, with more, uh, again, of our Central Minnesota Pond Racing, again, from the Gray Eagle Bertram Lions. This live broadcast of CMPR, Ice Oval Racing, is brought to you by Right Stitch Monogramming. Rickert Excavating Scott's Auto Body T&K Transport and Vintage Snowmobile Magazine Northern Crankshaft NC Sales is a proud sponsor of CMPR Your local Power Sports one-stop shop servicing snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs and motorcycles offers a full line of parts with a huge variety of engine parts on hand for all makes and models. They also have a full line of enclosed and open trailers. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales proudly serving you for over 40 years. Plan to attend the Millbank Show and Swap, celebrating 60 years of the cat. Thursday through Saturday, June 2nd, 3rd and 4th in Millbank, South Dakota. Featuring Arctic Cat Sleds. Enjoy the free hog roast along with free hams beer and free 1919 root beer. That's the Millbank Show and Swap June 2nd through the 4th. For more information visit millbankshow.com. auctionblock.com first with online equipment auctions in 1999 first in worldwide registered users sell with a leader auctionblock.com call auctionblock today 218-483-7880 Hey, I'm PJ Wonderscheid. Welcome to the wonderful world of Country Cat. With a four-time world champ at the helm, fast, reliable, online ordering is exactly what Country Cat provides. From FXR, 509, Climb, to Arctic Cat, all the best clothing and accessories on the planet. ATVs, UTVs, Easy Go Golf Carts are backed by one of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealers. For fast and free shipping on most orders over $39, log on to CountryCat.com. That's CountryCat.com. Okay, I want to welcome back all you great fans watching on Cool TV. They want to thank you for coming out and watching the fans that are here at the races, too, as we get ready to bring out race number 28. We got the women coming out again. I got number 29. I'm going to jump ahead a little bit here, folks. We got the Pro Lights coming out again. This ought to be a dandy boy, I'll tell you what. And let's meet the field. Brennan Sather is going to rock and roll on that number 27 machine of his. And then also, of course, you got the Hollows High Flying. Cale Fredrickson will come blasting out, of course, on his number 7, Cale, out of Center City, Minnesota. He's your 2019 Pro Light champion. Uh, then Gavin Peterson's looked really good today on that black number 6. 
And then, of course, your world champion, Jeff Watson, comes out again one more time. Uh, he'll be on that northern crankshaft, number nine. He's out of Princeton, Minnesota, 9W. And in the 964, the hard-charging Colton Graber. Boy, what an explosive young guy he is again out of Clear Lake, Minnesota. And then, of course, you got Connor Heinz on that 33 machine of his. Heinz comes out of Zimmerman, Minnesota, sponsored by the folks from Northway Sports up there. And then finally, of course, uh, Madison Phillips. Again, she's down here, the young 20-year-old uh, that comes here again out of Drayton, North Dakota, on that Players Wall Brothers racing machine of hers. And she'll be on the number 87. So that is your lineup again uh, for round number two. This is their final, I think, isn't it? If I'm not, no, 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 we're not done yet. That's right. we got a final coming up uh, about race number 49. So this will be a second round of qualifiers here. There comes Madison rolling up on the 87. There's the six out there of Gavin Peterson. Boy, good, good lineup. Like I said, not a big field here, but uh, every one of these guys and gals on this thing, I got a lot of talent out here again. Watch Heinz on that 33. He's dominated some of these races also. Again, the Pro Lights again are running at auctionblockprolight.com series here. They're going to race next weekend. Detroit Lakes for the final of that race. That series also. They start out last week in Strathcona. They get ready, set, they go, they go. Boy, look at that blast. Good start, man. I'll tell you what. Everybody jumped out on that one there. And again, we'll see them as they come down the back straightaway. And you talk about getting up to 100 miles an hour in a hurry. Here we go. The freight train's running loose right now on the turn three. They come up here. Let's see how it plays out. They come off a of turn four for lap number one. And it looks like it's going to be Watson in the lead. Graber second. Heinz in third. Fredrickson fourth. And Madison Phillips in the top five as they come down the back straightaway. Actually, I think that might have been Fredrickson running fifth out there right now. Now they come down to turn three again. You know, sooner or later, Jeff Watson was going to get things sorted out. He's got his eyes set on winning that final. Here he is. He's got the lead. Graber right with him. Heinz, fourth place. He's still going to be the seven of Fredrickson out there again. Good battle for third and fourth. And now here comes Graber. He's caught Watson down into turn number three. Jeff Watson, the nine. Colton Graber, the 965. Colton way up on the high side. Tries to get a good run, but Watson clears off good shape. And we'll see if he can close the gap again one more time. Colton Graber going to try to reel him in one more shot down the back straightaway. Jeff Watson loads it up. He heads down to turn three. Here comes Graber again. Graber going to reel him in again one more time. Now can he stay with him as they come off of turn four and complete lap number three of five. And he's caught him again. Now Graber takes a peek, dunks underneath him in one and two. Colton Graber gets up. He gets a push on the outside down the back straightaway. Colton Graber takes the lead away from Watson. Now Watson comes back around him on the outside. They go into three and four. Graber slides up again. Watson ducks under him as they go back and forth. And white flag, one to go. Watson retakes the spot again. Watson and Graber going at it. Here comes Graber one more time. Graber with a big run down the back straightaway. Takes a big surge down into turn number three. Watson heads into turn three right there. Here comes Graber one more time. Going to pull, put the pressure on him off of turn four. But Jeff Watson's going to get the win in the nine. Graber right behind him. Stay tuned. That final ought to be a dandy third place. Connor Heinz, Fredrickson fourth. And the fifth will be the number six out there, Gavin Peterson. Followed by Madison Phillips and Brennan Sather. Wow. Okay, there we go. I'll tell you what, boy, you talk about a wild one there. Now we're going to move up as we move into race number 30. This will be a final. I'll pretty much everything here from here on out is all finals. The junior novice, Cassie Becker, are fresh off her first win last weekend up at Strathcona, part of the Strathcona Cup on the number 13 out of Gray Eagle comes out. Then you got Levi Lurkey rolls in. Lightning Levi out of Hellock, Minnesota. Lines up at that all pro electric cannon cattle company number 99. And uh, then you got Trace Buckmeister. Buckmaster out there again. Trace on the number two machine, also joining up. And then the high flying young Nolan Iskirka. Nolan out of Andover, Minnesota. Uh, comes up on his number 816 machine. Waylon Winters is going to join in there back there on the number 215. Along with Claire Jensen on her number 27. Uh, looks like that should be Clayton T. Schaefer out there again, also on the 29T. That might be the blue hooded machine out there. Claire's right on the outside here in the number 27. This is our junior novice final here, folks. Junior novice final. Oops. Oops. And everybody says, oh, dang. <laughs> yeah, Levi says, dang. I, I jumped behind the guys, too. I think they're going to reset the whole field. Okay, we'll bring them around again here, get everybody reset. Okay. Yep, there we go. Let's bring them all back up here again. Again, I want to thank the Great Eagle Bertram Alliance Club for doing this again. Like I said, don't forget, awards show today will be at the Double R up down, uptown here again after the race is here tonight. So everybody will move over there and probably get some good hot lunch and warm up a little bit. 
and pick up their awards before they pack up and hit the road again for another week and get ready to get for Detroit Lakes, Minnesota next weekend. Part of their winter fest up there again. That'll be a big show. Okay, here we go. Now they're all set again. Okay, down and there we go. Green flag, you're off and running. Claire Jensen gets a little good start out there on the outside. Nolan Escurka running good out down on the bottom again. Let's keep an eye on them as they come down the back straightaway. Claire Jensen got a great start that time. And we'll see how the field plays out as they go into turn three here right now. We'll see how these top four are again. This is the final again. Here's our junior novice final for the kids out here again. Claire Jensen, she's got the lead right now. The 215 sitting in second. Out there again, like I said, that of course is going to be Way Waylon Winters out there again. Waylon with Skirka running third. Good battle for fourth here. Keep an eye on Cassidy Becker as she and Levi Lurkey going back and forth for fourth. And now Cassidy moves up into that number four spot around Levi, I believe. Well, maybe, yeah, it looks like it there as they come to the flag. But your race leader is still going to be Claire Jensen. Claire cooking up front here. Nolan second. Winner sitting in third place out there. Whalen doing a nice job in that fourth place battle. They're still side by side. Good battle going on between Levi Lurkey and Cassidy Becker as they battle for that number three spot. Levi's got to be shaking his head. He said, I just got done battling earlier with Cassidy's little brother in a wild one. Now I got big sis picking on me. So this is a tough day out here with the Becker kids. In the meantime, up front taking the lead with a good cushion. It's still going to be Claire Jensen. Boy, Claire has really come on here. She's a, a sweet young lady, fun to visit with. She's also social with everybody. Right now, she's got things hooked up and looking good. And let's take a look. White flag going to come out here again. Okay, we're going to get the white flag out here right now as they come off turn four. Here it is. There's Claire coming down that front straightaway, looking good. Somebody's machine off the face. It looks like that might be T. Shaver's machine, just not up to speed. Carly T. Shaver having tough luck out there again with that machine of hers, of Carly's there. But looking good and going to get a win in the final here. Our junior novice winner today uh, picking up the final wins. They come off turn four, coming out of St. Cloud out there. It is going to be, it looks like, Claire Jensen going to deal it up. There it is. Claire gets the win. Nice job by Claire Jensen. Second place, Nolan Eskirka. Good job by Nolan. Third place, the 215 out there of Waylon Winters. And fourth, there it is. Good, another good solid run for Cassie Becker. And Levi Lurkey, I believe, going to run that number five spot. Okay, race fans, move on to race number 31 coming up here right now. And, of course, this will be our 340 Supermod liquid cool machines. Marcus Iverson should be coming out again on his Arctic Cat, the 727. Again, like I said, Marcus going to school over at the uh, State School of Science at Wapton, North Dakota. Lives in Langdon, North Dakota. Long trip down here. Nice to have him down here. Kurt Peterson's going to be coming out. Believe he'll be on another machine. He'll be on the number 15. He'll be in the 52X machine. Joel Burns should be coming out on his 47. Dale Nelson, number three. Travis Winters, a 23W. And Keith Bedour should be coming out on the number 18. So we'll see how this thing plays out as they come down off of turn two. And we got a wreck in turn one here. We got somebody tipped over. That looks like it might be Marcus Iverson. We'll wait and see. And we'll have to get him off here. Kind of shaking off the cobwebs a little bit right now. He's up and moving around. That's good. Now try replay. I think I'm, I don't know if it's Iverson or what. I can't. I think. No, it's number three. I think that might be Dale Nelson. Yeah, Dale Nelson. I apologize for that. So here they come again. There's Joe Burns going to shut her down here. What? They're going to pull up the stop. So they'll line them all up side by side again. Yeah, it looks like, again, Dale Nelson sitting down in turn number one. You can see the number three machine down there. And then also, if you take a look on TV, you can see uh, the wind blowing out there. Joe Burns up there. I'll try to refire his machine. There we go. Got a dead sled coming up. As you can see, they got that... Uh, piece of poly they pull behind these four. Works like they just slide the machines on top of them and drag them off and away they go. Again, the machine's getting restaged up here again. They'll pull that up. Here we go. We get Dale's sled pulled up on that dead sled. 
You know, the guys do a great job. The guys running these dead sleds and stuff, getting these machines back, their trailers. You know, you, know, you got to give these snowboard racers credit, folks. Uh, you know, this isn't the necessarily the best conditions to be outside working with your bare hands trying to tune a carburetor or maybe or change a belt or do some clutch adjustments or stuff like that or, or replace some studs on a snowmobile, but they do it. And uh, they got a lot of them got good trailers where they get a little heat inside so they can do that. But, uh, again, some of it is done outside on some of the open stuff too. But pretty amazing bunch of men and women and then of course the kids are the whole family's involved in this sport here you see there's winners the 23 burns the 47 the 18th of madure all up there them three machines here right now that might be the three that are left there they go they drop the green again here it is good even start that time 340 supermod liquid cooled this is their final here right now As we continue to roll along here right now, coming off of turn four to complete that first lap. And it's going to be winners in the lead, followed by Burns and Badur in third. Travis Winters with the lead early on this one here right now, down the back straight away. Okay, Mike doing a good job of it. Mike still holding on. Good job out there again by Winters. Travis Winters looking solid in that lead down the back straightaway. Iverson did not make the start. Marcus had some issues with one of his sleds here today, so a tough break for him. Try to find himself another machine to run. Of course, he's running in some of the point chases too. Marcus Iverson having a really good season here. But again, Winters looking good. Takes the checkered flag. Travis Winters, your race winner. He's going to win the 340 Supermod Liquid Cool Final here today. Again, at Trace Lake here again in Gray Eagle. Good job by him. Okay, well, now we got our ju junior F500 again. Now, these are the younger racers coming back out again. We'll see how this thing plays out here again. Again, the Wall Brothers Racing, Westland Farms. Number 113 will be Hanna Westland again. Now, remember, Westland last time went to dead last in her last race out there. And, boy, she blew by everybody out there, and she found some speed, and did she take off. So let's watch this again. Uh, she might be the favorite in this one. We'll see. And see if she's got the 113 machine. She's out of Strathcona, Minnesota. Tucker Braith will join in out there. Tucker should be out on the number 72 in this one. And then out of Andover, Minnesota, will be Nolan Skirk out there again. Nolan will be on the number 815 machine. And then and the Mies Alden, number 50, out of Alexandria, should be Connor Joes. Connor again out of Alexandria. Then the 113 machine out there again. Uh, that's going to be, again, also Casty Becker. Now remember, she's jumping again on Kendra Westland's machine out here. Nicely, Kendra let her, let her run that, so she's going to be out there. Cassie's first time ever on an F500, so she did a nice job earlier today. I asked her how she liked it, and she, she loved it. She said, boy, she says, i got to go a little faster next time. I said, just take your time there. These machines are very fast, and you'll see what I'm talking about when I get out there. And then Trevor Betterman will be coming back out on the number 96. So that is your lineup, again, for our junior F500 final here. Race number 32 of 54 today as we're rolling along pretty good here right now. Okay. Okay, just get some feedback from some of the folks here watching and get on cool TV there. Sounds like the broadcast is coming out okay, and they, they do a great job. The camera work these guys do are amazing. I'll tell you what, look at this here, the, the high-def uh, look they give me here and stuff. Uh, hats off to Cool TV for doing this here. And uh, like I said, they're coming with us Detroit Lakes next weekend, too. That should be a fun, fun time. Uh, we'll be right next to the big, uh, we'll be just down the road a little bit, I guess, from the big ice palace and all that stuff there. So should be a good time up there, and it sounds like the weather is going to be well, a little bit warmer than what it is today. But hopefully the wind will die down one of these days. We've had a, we've had a real winter here, haven't we? Again, if you're just pulling into the racetrack and if you've got a car radio, you turn it to 87.9 to get the feed of the race, and we'll do the best we can to at least touch it, let you know who's in the races and, and give you some information the best we can. Okay, getting the bales restacked and straightened up out there.
Okay, he'll play with Mike Stratichuk and ready. Bobby's calling him forward here and tell the guys to reline here again right now. They'll come up, and here comes here again our junior F500 kids coming out again. The young ones are coming out, and the future looks good for racing. We got a lot of talent here. These kids are good, boy, I'll tell you what, and uh, they can really get it done. I know it, uh, it's going to be fun to see what happens next year when we open up the season again, uh, again late in January, where these kids are at to the, from this year to next year. Again, that's going to be a lot of fun. So I really look forward to seeing that. Okay, here they come again. You can see them coming out. Uh, the bright red machine, that, of course, is Casty Becker on the 113 on the outside here. The 72 is Tucker Braith. Now, Tucker can fly on that thing, too. So let's see what happens. And, of course, Hanna Westland on that 113 can always be tough. There they go, boy. And I'll tell you what, the 50 got a whole shot. Connor Joe got out there again. And he knows he's got to get going because he set some battles down the back straightaway. Braith running second. I believe as they come down into turn three, here we go, and I think that might be Hanna Westland jumping up again as they come off a of three and four. Here it is, it's a five lapper. Here they come, it's gonna be the 50 in the lead right now. Ghost. And Hanna Westland in that 50, like I said, gonna try reel him in again. Let's see what happens again down that back straightaway. Again, they crank it into turn three, and boy, I tell you what, Connor, don't look back now, but the little gal from up north is chasing in a hurry, and she's coming off a of turn four, trying to gun him down. Again, Connor Jones with the lead, and now Hanna Westland starts to close the gap again. Boy, I'll tell you what, remember last time we seen her. Look at the speed she's carrying. Let's see if she can get there again. Connor hangs on down the back straightaway. It's a five-lapper. They'll come around, I believe, lap number three right here as they go into turn three. Again, getting some Casty Becker, getting some good laps. Here they come again one more time. Jones looks over his shoulder just to see where he's at. She can probably hear her a little bit back behind him again. Tucker Braith back there again. Now you can see... I tell you, Westland is determined, and here she goes again. Hannah Westland is loaded up, and boy, I'll tell you what, uh, she's been determined today as they go into three and four. They come up on a lap sled here right now as they come off turn four. Here they come to the flag, Jost on the inside. One lap to go, one last shot. They go into turn one and two. Connor hangs down there again. Here comes Hannah Westland with a run on the outside again. A big shot, and here we go. Down in the back straightaway, Joe sets up again. He looks like going to turn three. Boy, Joe really gets on the throttle to try to surge ahead a little bit. Now Westland pulls back again off of turn four, and Joe's going to hang on and get the win with Hannah Westland. Good thing that's not a six-lapper. We might have a little different outcome. Good race there, again, by a couple of very, very talented young racers. Ooh, boy. Yeah, good race again out there by the kids out there, and they're just amazing to watch, aren't they, folks? I'll tell you what, that brings us to race number 33 now. As we get ready for our Super Stock, 340 liquid cooled. And 440 fan. And this will be a final here again. And again, Mitch Geeskeing out at the Tonk Iowa will be coming out in a 17. G, Dave Riegert out of Little Falls on the 156. Ed Lurkey out of Hellock, Minnesota on the 99. Out of Spicer, Minnesota, Taden Nelson on the 911. Adam Brickleman on the 717. Then you've got Jay Rickert coming out also. Rickert out of Glencoe, Minnesota rolls up there. You can see him pulling in. And it looks like Andrew DeNoble on that Yamaha out of Fergus Falls pulls up out there. And that Ben Holden landscaping machine of his. Zach Hilton on the 731, along Brandon Barber again, out of Princeton, Minnesota on the number 72, and Andrew Stowey again, out of Detroit Lakes, Minnesota on the 049. On the outside, you can see Brigham out here right now again. Superstock, 340, liquid cool, along with the 440 fans joining in on this one here. There it is, good start, boy. Everybody got off to a dead even that time. And, boy, they jump into turn number one, I'll tell you. This ought to be a battle here, folks. Look at the pile up in there. As they come down the back straightaway, and, man, I'll tell you what, that is a mob scene. I'm glad I'm not scoring this. The gal's going to keep track of this mess. I can't even remember to come by. Denoble's your leader right now. And in second place, it looked like uh, Zach Hilton again at 731. Sitting second right behind. Now Hilton close to get back up on young Andrew Denoble again. Again, Denoble heads into turn three. Hilton stays right with him again. So those two running one, two right now. It's amazing. Another young driver that's re racer that's really good. Denoble in that 15. Sitting third, you can see the 72 of it, Brandon Barber, followed again by Jay Rickert on the 96 in fourth. Rickert's right there also. Rickert right behind him on his 156. 
Denoble so far able to keep these guys at bay. The young guy out there doing a nice job again. Andrew Denoble having a ball. Checker flag going to wave, and Denoble's going to get the win. Second place went to, again, good job out there again by Zach Hilton. Ball again with record in third out there. Good job by those guys also. So, again, Andrew Denoble going to win the Superstock 340 Liquid Cooled 440 Fan Combo Class out there right now. That will bring us up to, again, race number 34 again, race fans. As we continue to roll along here today, this will be a finalist. Our junior 0 to 400 fan kids out there again. And again, you got young Colton Becker will begin out of uh, Gray, Gray Eagle, Minnesota. He'll be out there on his number six again with Levi Lurkey out of Hallock on the number 99 out there also joining in. Tucker Braith will be coming out again out of Staples out there on the number 40. Trace Buckmaster again on the number two. And the 76, the young world champion out there, 10-year-old A.J. Rickard out of Glencoe, Minnesota. Rolls up there. You can see A.J. coming in there. Nolan and Skirka have been very good all day on that 816. Of course, Claire Jensen's having an amazing day. She's on the uh, red 86 out here again, right on this side, uh, on the inside of Colton Becker. And Trevor Betterman on the number 62. So there's your lineup here again right there. There we go. Good start out there. Good even jump as they go into turn number one. Tucker Braith got a good job down on the bottom down there. But Levi Lurkey had a good move out there also. Levi got up there for a minute too. Now they scramble it out down the back straightaway. Again, here's our junior 0 to 400. 11 to 15 year old kids. So these are young, young racers out here, folks. Again, they come down into 3 and 4. Setting up again. Coming off turn 4. Good battle coming to the flag. And it looks like uh, it's going to be the 62 so far. Trevor Betterman with the lead this time. Trevor doing a nice job out there. Hanging on. Wow. How about that? And then down the back straight. Boy, they're battling behind him. There goes. Oh, boy. Look out. There comes AJ out of nowhere. I'll tell you what, that looked like the little lightning out there living up to his name, A.J. Rickard. Like the legendary A.J. Foyt. Well, I'll tell you what, he's looking good right now. He's come up, and I think he might be your new leader. Here they come. And it is Rickard in the lead. Betterman second, Braith in third right there. Colton Becker. Young Colton Becker in fourth place on his number six. Good job by him. A.J. down the back straightaway. Sitting down there right now. Good battle for second. Tucker Braith going back and forth. That is a battle again between he and the 62 and Trevor Betterman. Good battle for that number two spot. White flag coming by. The number two out there again also as they come down here right now. Checkered flag going to wave. There it is. A.J. Rickard's going to get it. Now the 40 in second followed by the 62 in third back there. Here comes your fourth place finisher. That should be the number six of Colton Becker. I think finishing fourth. And here they come. There it is. Oh, no, it's going to be a ball. Oh, Colton must have had a break down there. And it looks like the 86 of Claire Jensen. And that wraps up. Okay, so again, there we go. That'll wrap up that one there. Race number 34. Now we go to the race number 35, and that'll be the IFS 340X machines. So again, here we go. Race number 35. Now, after this, again, we will have one more plow break because you know why that means? That means the F500 has come through for their third and final ride round of qualifying. And then when they'll get ready after that. We'll put the bet, all of them together again. That F500 final will be race number 53 on the day, folks. That ought to be fun to watch. That'll be the final race of the day. And uh, in race number 49, the Pro Lights come out again. So you're going to see some really good finishes here today here as we get ready to wrap it up here. It looks like we got a bunch of bales that got knocked out of whack over there, too. And turn number three, it looks like there. Gonna, we'll take care of some of that out there. Oh, okay. The guys are busy again. Like I said, the nice thing about them things, they, they kind of give a little bit, so when they go flying off, uh, nobody gets hurt. Okay, let's get ready right now, race fans, for race number 35 on the day. The IFS 340X machine, Justin Marthaler out of Alexander, Minnesota, will be on the number 22. Tristan Erdman will jump out on the number 54 machine. And A.J. Rickert, the young 10-year-old, comes right back out again out of Glencoe, Minnesota, and that Rickert, ex Rick Rickert excavating number 76. Trevor Betterman just fresh off that last race. He'll also come right back out again on his number 98. And then, of course, you got the 59 out of Drayton, North Dakota, young Hunter Johnson on the Polaris Wall Brothers Racing. Uh, Polaris of his area. He is rolling up in there right now, too. 
So we're getting to see them all out here. Betterman on the outside. This should be a good race again here right now. IFS 340X. And again, like I said, after this, we will go to another plow break here as we kind of start winding down the, the last 20 races of the day here. Okay, here they go. Good start out there again. Boy, Betterman got a good push on the outside. They're pretty much dead even in the one and two here right now. Let's see how this thing plays out down the back straight. Boy, these kids squeeze them up here, and away they go down that front straightaway again. A good mix up there again. Everybody about dead even in there right now. They come off turn four, coming to the flag again. It's going to be A.J. Rickard, followed by Hunter Johnson, Marthaler, and third boy. There's not much, not much separation in first four. Look at that. You can put them four like the old saying goes in the back of my pickup truck. That's how tight they are right now down the back straightaway. Again, your top four break in here right now. All sitting out here again, coming off turn four. A.J. Rickard hanging on, trying to hold on to that lead. If he, Oh, that's not the betterment in the lead. The seven, or excuse me, A.J. Rickard. Yeah, it is A.J. in the lead. Rickard hanging on that time by. This is a final here right now. IFS 340X down the back straightaway. Rickard hanging on again down into turn number three. And now they come charging up on the outside of him. Hunter Johnson also trying to close a gap out there. And Hunter's caught him side by side. He and Rickard going back and forth. A couple of talented young guns out there. That's a 10 and a 12 or 13 year old. There are a couple, couple of the old timers here, folks. You know, and boy, those kids are going at it right now. Down the back straight away into turn number three. Again, they come up here right now. Here's your race leader. Is it going to be Rickard or is it going to be Hunter Johnson? And it's going to be Rickard this time. Hunter's right with him. Marthaler says, the more they battle, maybe I can get up there and intercept both these kids. Here they come down off of turn two, down the back straightaway, and the young guys are flexing their muscles, and boy, AJ's got some speed as he blows way down that back straightaway. Hunter says, I just can't catch him quite yet. They go in here right now. The checkered flag's going to come out here right now. Here they come off turn four for the checkered. It's going to be AJ Rickard hanging on. Hunter Johnson second, Marthaler in third. Good race by a couple of young, talented kids again. There it was. That was our three IFS 340X machines. Again, don't forget, next weekend we go to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. I think racing's at 11 up there next uh, Saturday. And again, that'll be right on Big Detroit Lakes. I think it's right down by the Holiday Inn in town, so come on up and join us up there again. Should be a fun, fun time. But we got more work to do here yet today, too, folks. We still got about uh, 18, 17, 18 races to go here yet to wrap this up here. So we'll do our plow break here, and then we come out for round number three of the F500s. And we'll roll along here with a whole bunch of races again then. And we got about three more plow breaks or so, and then we'll be kind of wrapping up for the day here. But uh, So, again, if you're watching on, uh, again, Cool TV, thanks for joining up with us now. We're going to back her down here for just a couple minutes here, give them about 12, 13 minutes again, let them get this track worked in. We'll be back here again very shortly. See you shortly. This live broadcast of CMPR, Ice Oval Racing, is brought to you by Bright Stitch Monogramming, Rickard Excavating, Scott's Auto Body T&K Transport and Vintage Snowmobile Magazine Northern Crankshaft NC Sales is a proud sponsor of CMPR Your local Power Sports one-stop shop servicing snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs and motorcycles offers a full line of parts with a huge variety of engine parts on hand for all makes and models. They also have a full line of enclosed and open trailers. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales proudly serving you for over 40 years. Plan to attend the Millbank Show and Swap, celebrating 60 years of the cat. Thursday through Saturday, June 2nd, 3rd and 4th in Millbank, South Dakota. Featuring Arctic Cat Sleds. Enjoy the free hog roast along with free hams beer and free 1919 root beer. That's the Millbank Show and Swap June 2nd through the 4th. For more information visit millbankshow.com. auctionblock.com first with online equipment auctions in 1999 first in worldwide registered users sell with the leader auctionblock.com call auctionblock today 218-483-7880 
Hey, I'm PJ Wondershide. Welcome to the wonderful world of Country Cat. With a four-time world champ at the helm, fast, reliable, online ordering is exactly what Country Cat provides. From FXR, 509, Climb, to Arctic Cat, all the best clothing and accessories on the planet. ATVs, UTVs, Easy Go Golf Carts are backed by one of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealers. For fast and free shipping on most orders over $39, log on to CountryCat.com. That's CountryCat.com. Okay, welcome back, everybody. Back here again on Cool TV Land again. Good to see you out here. One more time as we get ready to roll out here again, the F500s. We've got three more qualifiers. And I'll tell you, if they've been anything like what we've seen earlier today, you are going to have some fun. Ashton Christensen's going to roll out on a 29. Uh, look out for the rocket out here. Hanna Westland has been flying the last couple races. They found some speed on that thing. She'll be in the Wall Brothers Racing 113 out of Strathcona, Minnesota. Then you got Will Rinson break again on the 33 machine out there. Will comes up here again out of Malacca, Minnesota, on that high-tech automotive machine. He'll jump in here. Dan and Skirka, the great veteran out of Andover in the 8th. 15 joins in. Last week's winner up at Strathcona was Justin Lundin in the pink and forward machine. He'll be coming out again. And then the 137, Ty Hagen, also jumping up here out of New London, Minnesota, in that Harley Construction sponsor machine of his, along with the high-flying Austin Graber again, the 965 out of Clear Lake, Minnesota. So another good heat race here. Let's see how this thing plays out. And this will be the third and final round of qualifying here, and they'll tally everything up. And then, of course, we got a B main and a final coming up for these guys a little bit later on. But right now, this will be heat number one of three here again today. Okay, we are about set to go here again one more time. Here they come staging up here. Here's Hagen, the 137. Iskerka, Christensen, Lundin, the 965 of Graber. There's Westland on the 113. And the field is set for you here right now. As the guys and gal get ready for this one here. Round three, F500. Coming at you. Again, Mike Matichek takes a try to check, takes a look, drops the green, and here they go. Again, a good start out there again as they come into turn number one. Let's see how this thing plays out again here right now. Down the back straightaway. Now everybody getting on the trigger in a hurry. Here we go again one more time. Jumping up here in the turn three and four. Coming up and see how it's going to lead. It looks like the 965 Graber might be your leader in lap number one. Here it is. No, it's going to be Lundin again in the lead. Lundin with the early lead in this one here. Justin Lundin picking up where he left off last week. Up at the Strathcona down the back straightaway. Carrying a pile of speed in that machine. He got a good jump. Starts are so critical. You can see what happens if you don't get a good start. Some of the guys in the back here and gals were both very fast earlier but did not get good starts. They're paying for it now. Rensenbrink running second out there again right now. Rensenbrink looking very good in second. Ty Hagen having another solid run out there again down that back straightaway. But again, Justin Lundin leads the field down into turn number three. Coming up here right more one more time. Again, they crank it off at turn four. Lundin takes the checkered flag. Rensenbrink second. And Hagen in third in that one there. And there we go. That'll take care of round number or round number three, heat race number one of three, and we got two more to go here coming up again, more F500s. Again, Country Cats put out $3,000 in prize money for these guys, and after Detroit Lakes, whoever's got the most total points in this series is going to walk out of there. Well, everybody makes money, even a 10th place, 150 bucks or something. It's, it's a great payday. Again, hats off to Country Cat for doing that. Right now, let's get ready for heat race number two, the 685 Tanner Davey. Again, rolls in here out of Badger, Minnesota. The 213 is going to be Aaron Davey, also out of Badger. Then you got to Jordan Johnson. He'll be on the 21J machine. That'll be the Schaefer Racing Lubricants machine out of St. Cloud. The 111 will be Tanner Foss out there. Andrew Stowe out of Detroit Lakes on the 049. Uh, the Misal, the number 50J. That'll be Jared Jost again out of Alexandria up there. And then Gavin Peterson also out there on the number six. They get ready as they come off turn four. Keep an eye on them here right now. They get set. The green flag drops and away we go. Good start out there. Skirka got a nice start. No, 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 excuse me, the 685 got a great start that time as they come down the back straightaway. Oh, look at this again here. Again, great battle at the front of the pack as they go into turn three and four. And now you got all six, seven of these guys lined up getting after each other in lap number one. Let's see who's it going to be. It looks like the two, 213 out there. Aaron Davey doing a nice job out there in the lead. 
Davian at 213 looking good so far, but boy, he's got a lot of company right on his back bumper down that back straightaway as they shuffle back and forth for position. Again, they come into turn three. This will be again. Get ready for their seven lap final here a little bit later on today. Here it is, white flag. And again, good tight racing action at the front of the pack. Moving up there again one more time. Keep an eye. Jordan Johnson putting some pressure on. Still we having another good solid run out there in the old 49. And into turn three. Here they come. Let's see how it plays out here as they come to the flag. Johnson picking up the win on that one there. Good run out there by those guys again. Well, Jordan Johnson really cooking at the end of that one there. He picked up a good push and grabbed the victory in that one there. Wow. Okay, here we go. Heat race number three coming up again. Dalton Broughton's going to come out here again on the 215. Rotten out of Butterfield, Minnesota. TNK Transport sponsor machine of his. World champion Jeff Watson out of Princeton comes up to Northern Crankshaft. Number nine, W. Jason Smoody, the sixth, also joins the party. He's been fast all the whole time. Uh, Connor Jones to me, out number 50 C, pulling up there right now, along with Austin Vench. Uh, Vench out there and the number 33 out, H out there again. And then Kendra Weston scheduled to make the start. She'll just take the green if she does come out at all. And again, like I said, she's injured this week, so not able to run this weekend. So again, if she does, she'll just take the green and pull off. But again, here they come one more time. Here they go. And again, into that first turn. Good push coming up here right now. Boy, three wide down the back straightaway. Look at there. Wow. Looked like they were going to be four wide for a minute. And that first four blast into turn three. No separation again. And another tight run coming up here again on the F500. They continue to get after it. Watson the lead, falling again by Jost in the 50, running second in this one here. Watson hanging on to that lead real tight right now down the back straightaway. Jeff looking good, but again, look at this. He's got more company come up in his back bumper again. They go into turn three. Jost is there also. And I think Smoothie just joined the party as they come off turn four. Here they come again. Smoody sitting in third, Jost in second. Watson is your leader, and not far behind him is Dalton Broughton in the 215. He's sitting there very close also. Second place battle going back and forth. I tell you, Smoody and Jost are swapping spots here. Smoody just took over the number two spot. Now Jost's going to try him on the outside and try to take it back again. As they come to the flag, the checker's going to wave. Watson's going to get the win. Boy, Jost in second, Smoody third, followed by Broughton in the 215. Good battle. And how about that for there? Now they get two more times to come out. One's going to be a B main for the guys that didn't make the top qualifying. And then your top eight or ten machines will go into that final. And that will be race number 53 to wrap up our day here today. Right now, let's get ready here for Superstock 440 fans to come out again. And this will be another final. Steve Winningland has had a good day. He'll be in the 77 to 717 of Adam Brigelman. John Warner comes out. You can see him on the 84 up there. The 7W will be Jesse Waldorf again out of Osakis. Zach Hilton's been good all day in the 731. Brandon Barber again out of Princeton on the 72. The 15 will be Sheldon Carlson. Uh, let's see. It looks like Brandon Kubis out there should be on the 587. And you got uh, Ellery Jacobson on the 5J again. And John Stedgy on the 71. That's Allery Jacoby out there. Excuse me, on the 5G. So, okay, here we go again right now. One more time. They dropped that green. Good start for Zach Hilton on that 731 again. Boy, Zach Hilton, a racer we haven't seen a lot of before this year. And I'll tell you what, he has been very, very impressive. Very solid out there again. Running those Polaris Indies and stuff that he's been running here. It's been very solid out there again. They come one more time. Off turn four down the front straightaway. There's your race leader again. Sitting in second, Brandon Nelson again. In third, the 15 out there of Sheldon Carlson. Again, they come down one more time as they come down the back straightaway. Everybody having a good battle out here again right now. Leading the field off of turn four. White flag going to wave. Here it is right now so far again. Still looking good in the lead. Zach Hilton at 731, good run, but now you can see Brandon. Damn, Brandon Barber working the top side is closed in on uh, your leader out there, Hilton. And he's, if he can get, figure out somebody to get around him, but now Hilton pulls away down the back straightaway. Gets a little bit more breathing room. Barber's going to make another surge in the turn. I just don't think he's got time to get up there. And your Superstock 440 fan final winner, 
is going to be Zach Hilton on that 731. Nice job in Barber in second. Sheldon Carlson in third. Next up, we're going to come to race number 38. This is going to be another final. This is our 440 Superstock final as we start to close the day down here. They're going down in a hurry now. Mitch Keys King will be out again out of Titanka, Iowa on his Yamaha, the 17G. Then you got Blaine Broughton coming out again on the 205. Blaine rolls up here again out of Butterfield. He'll be in that, uh, again, Butter Broughton Farms TK Transport Machine of his. You got uh, Kurt Peterson on the 52X also joining up here along with the Northern Cup. Okay, Blaine is a scratch. Tough break for Blaine Broughton. Not going to make the start here. Uh, Jeff Watson, the world champion in the 9W. Oh, the crankshaft machine. Joe Burns on the 47. You can see Burns rolling up there right now. Turner Childs on a 99 TC. Turner's been pretty good out there again. Uh, Will Renson Brink also out of Malak on the 33R machine out there. Travis Winters also coming up out of Butterfield on the 23W. Kyle Ludwig on the 223. And Josh Miller on the number 16. Okay, here we go as they get set to come up one more time. Keep an eye again, like I said. Watson's got to be one of your pre-race favorites, but again, you never know. Geese King is always good in the Brock boys. Again, like I said, Blaine not making the start here. So again, keep an eye on Travis Winters and Renson Brink also. Bill Burns. And of course, you can never count out Kurt Peterson. Okay, we got one machine waiting down there again. Down there again. Josh Miller on the skidoo on the outside here on that 16. So you got a nice mixture of sleds. Okay, here they come. Here comes a 99. A Turner Childs rolling up here again. Turner's locked in here right now. They blast into turn number one. Good start out there again. Field sets up down off of turn two, down that back straight away. And again, look at this. Five, six machines battling there. That third place battle, four machines. Oh, and they got a breakdown. The leader, leader just broke going down the back straight away. Going to run him off out there. Didn't see who that was on the dark stuff. But your new race leader coming here. It's going to be Renson Brink in the 33. Well, Renson Brink is your race leader right now. Out of Malacca, Minnesota, but he's going to have to hang on because now they're going to try to run him down, down that back chute. Renson Brink loads it up at about 85 miles an hour into turn three. Sets up in a hurry here right now. Be nice if we pull that radar gun off from the other side over there. We're running radar runs here. Renson Brink. Turner Child sitting in second here right now. Good job by him. Child's looking very solid out here. Another one of those races we don't get to see a lot of here. And that 99 checkered flag is going to wave here in a minute as they come off. And here it is, your 440 Superman. Look at cool finals winner. Going to be Will Renson Brink. He's happy. He's pumping his fist. As he goes down that front straightaway, that felt good for Will Rensenbrink in that 33. Nice job by him. Boy, that's a, vic it's a sweet taste of victory as Rensenbrink picks up the win in the 440 Supermod liquid cooled. Well, let's move on. We're going to go to race number 39 now. We continue to roll along pretty good here now. And that will be, again, our F-Stock final coming up here again. Adam Bregelman comes back out again on his number 717. And Taden Nelson on the Spicer. A rock and roll for you. He'll be on the number 911. Then you got Phil Rupp coming up next. Phil, of course, out of New London, Minnesota on the number 26. Corey Thorson on his number 528. Zach Hilton, who's had a great day today on that 731. Back out again. Keep an eye on him. There he is. Coming up and rolling in here, out here on the end, out here. Jamie Dietman on the 409. Dale Nelson will be on his number three. Trevor Betterman on number 98. And also Colton T. Schaefer on the number 29T. So we are set to go here. F-Stock final. Again, race number 39 on the day as we start to wind our way down here at the end. A good start out here again. This is a good even class. These sleds are all pretty well matched. So, again, if you got your right clutching set up on your takeoff and your studs are right, you can get out of the hole. But then you got to be able to turn it around the corners, and that's where it's the race or one and lost also. It's a five-lap final here as they go into turn three and four. First four sleds pretty tight here. Let's see how this thing plays out here and see who's got that lead on lap one. Is it going to be Bill Rupp, I believe, in the lead? Again, looking good. Bill Rupp in that number 26 having another good run out there again. 
But boy, behind them now, things are starting to tighten up again as they come down here again one more time. Second place battle heating up for, as they go back and forth. They'll come around complete lap number two of five here. Here they come again. Watch this here. Here it is. Corey Thorson out there in that 528. And Adam Riggleman going at it hard for that number two spot as they go side by side this time. And they close up on the leader down the back straight away. And here we go. We might have a lead change here. And Bregelman really getting some speed. That's going to take the lead. I believe that looks like Bregelman on the inside. Let's take a look. If it's Hammer Thorson, here they come off. And I believe it's going to be the 717 of Bregelman. Thorson in third. And boy, things are tightening up back behind him as, Bre as they come up with Zach Hilton also joining the party. Hilton's up there in the number four spot. Now they stretch it again one more time in the turn number three. Got one more shot coming down that front straightaway. White flag, lap number four completed there. Bregelman's your leader on that 717. Rupp in second out there. Boy, I'll tell you what, that's a good battle in this one here. Adam Bregelman doing a nice job here. Now can he hang on for this last lap as he found some speed at mid-race. And they're going back and forth. Rupp has got a problem. He's slowed a little bit on the straightaways. He's lost power and fell back to about fourth, it looks like. But here they come off turn four again. And Bregelman looks like he's going to hang on and get the win on the 717. There it is. He's your race winner. Oh, wait, Rupp is second. And the 528 out there of Corey Thorson in third. Good job by Corey finishing third in your F-Stock final here today. Race number 39. Well, let's keep popping along. We're going to move on to race number 40 here. And here comes your junior two sprint out here again. The kids are coming back out again. Gavin Peterson will roll out here on that number six machine. Again, also coming up along with him will be the world champion, the young gun out of Fergus Falls, Andrew DeNoble out there, and the Matt's Automotive Service a Cash X machine. He'll be out there again in, the, in his number 15. Then you got the 59 machine. That's, again, the Players Wall Brothers racing machine of Hunter Johnson out here again out of Drayton. Again, like I said, he'll be the, the young 13-year-old out there again. And finally, Connor Jost, the gunner again out of Alexandria in that Mies Outland number 50. Again, another fun day of racing out here. It's amazing, you know, to watch the, the young guys and gals and the old timers that come out here again. Just had a chance to talk to Jay Sperry for just a minute outside here in the cold out there, and he's got a sled ready to go. He's kind of looking for a driver now. He's kind of got that stage where it's time to retire out there. He's been a long time legendary racer out here with us again. Well, thank him for all he's done for this uh, ice oval racing, too. Guys like that really keep the sport going. Now, Joe's on the outside. Johnson's on the 59, Joe's the 50. This ought to be fun. De Noble on the 50. This should be a wide open shootout. Let's see how these kids do as they go at each other here. Again, for the junior two sprint fight. Let it go. Whoops. Oh, ding. Okay, well, it looks like uh, Connor is going to go to the penalty box on that one there. I'm going to spin around, let everybody get reset again one more time. As you can imagine, the flag man probably not real happy with them kids when they jump either because it's cold out there, and, of course, it does add a lot of time to our show uh, every time we have to reset this thing. But, but, hey, that's part of racing. Okay, there we go. Connor's back there. He says, I'll chase him. No, boy, Connor giving him a big lead, though. Look at this. Man, he's going to have to really, I think I'd move up about half that distance if I was him. Okay, and away we go. Andrew DeNoble on the inside, that 15, got the jump this time down on the bottom off a of one and two. Can he hold on, though? Down the back straightaway. I don't know if he did that time. It looks like maybe Hunter Johnson got up alongside there. Here they go into turn three again. Let's see how the field sets up here right now. Look, come around, complete lap number one, and your leader right now. How about this, Gavin Peterson in the sixth? Blew away the field, and he is out front right now laying a whooping on these guys big time, and boy, Gavin Peterson is gone. He's down the back straightaway already, opening up about a 15-sled length lead on the rest of the field. And boy, where did he come from? Gavin Peterson looking good as they come to the flag here. Complete lap number two. Gavin way out front. Denobo running second. Hunter Johnson third. And Connor Jost in the number four. And like I said, none of these kids running two, three, and four are slouches. They're all really good young kids here again. Like I said, the... Uh, with uh, Denoble getting that world championship win earlier this year, this winter here. And, of course, Johnson right there with him and Connor Jones also. And again, down the back straightaway, they loaded up again so far. And, boy, there is a no-doubter in this one. I 
did not expect to see this. I did not see this coming. I knew he was going to be good, but Gavin Peterson is just a league of his own right now. And all the noble Johnson and Joe's can do is say, man, we're getting spanked in this one here. Race number 40 out of 53 on the day, so we're kind of getting down that home stretch here, folks. But we got some great, great finals coming up here to wrap up our day here. And boy, that's going to be a lot of fun. Here it is. Checkered flag waves. There's your winner. How about Gavin Peterson in the win out there? Andrew DeNoble running second. Hunter Johnson third. And after the uh, the penalty for the jump start, Connor Jost rounds out your top four. Okay, let's move on to race number 41 of 53 here now as we continue to count it down. And this will be our Sportsman 600 coming up here again. Our Sportsman 600. Again, you got some veterans. Blaine Broughton. I'm not sure Blaine will be back out. We'll wait and see in the 205. Scheduled to come up. Jamie Dietman should be scheduled to come out on the 409. Now, Marcus Iverson will be jumping on the number three today. Now, Marcus Iverson will be on to not get his John Deere out again, so he'll be coming out with that. Uh, Ashton Christensen on the 29s looked really good here. He'll come out in again in a minute. And then Will Rensenbrink also back out again. Autumn Malacca on his 33 R machine. Rensenbrink slides up there. There you can see the three coming out of Marcus Iverson. Uh, Taylor Thompson will be out also on the 654. There's uh, should be coming up out here. I believe that's him right on the outside here. And then uh, Eric Rowland again on the number 50. Eric has had a good run here too. Again, like it's been a very solid racer for us. Right now, though, it looks like Mike uh, Stratacek's going to get the green. There they go, and away we go. Eric Rowland down on the inside. Looked like he got a great start that time. Boy, did he ever launch out of there. If that's Rowland out front, he just totally blew everybody out of the water in this one here. And again, another surprise here with somebody getting away and pulling away from a very strong field. And it's going to be the Renson break. I was wrong. I thought it was Eric Rowland, but you're right. Will Renson break came out of nowhere. And I should have known that with him. But again, Renson break right now with almost a half a straightaway lead already in this one here. He is just gone. And man, it did not take him long to establish who was going to be the favorite in this one here as they come down off of turn four on the front straightaway. Good run by Will. Second, Broughton. Third, Roland in the 50, sitting in the number three spot there again. And he's still having a good run here. But boy, right now they got to still run down. Will Renson break. Looking very good. That high tech automotive machine of his. Remember back in 2021, he run the Country Cat 500 series here. He won that thing last year. Again, Renson Brake looking good down the back straightaway. Big, big lead here right now. Okay, there we go again one more time as Renson Brake flies it along. White flag out here. They come by this time. Down the back straight away, coming off turn four. Will Renson bring gonna bring it home to the flag, and boy, leaving no doubt here with a white flag out there. One to go, here he comes. There it is, Renson bring gonna get the win. Solid run by him. Nice job in second, boy, Broughton hung on, and a great surge by Ruland in that 50 at the end of that thing. Boy, at another lap, he might have been in second place. He was really coming on also. Well, that brings us to race number 42 now as we're really starting to cl climb the ladder here again. Okay, race number 42 coming up here again right now. Kurt Peterson should be coming out of Fargo on a 52X, the world champion. Bob Wagner also on the number 62 joins in the field. Uh, Carson Snare scheduled to come out on the twin track number 99. These are the IFS 440X machines. Uh, then you got Owen Thurston rolling out on the number 61. Turner, Turner Childs on the 99 TC. There's Dave Newman on that 54X, the motor ski that's been fast. You can see Carson Snare moving in on the 99 in there. The 62 of uh, Bob Wagner. Kyle Ludwig on the 777 should be joining in up there. And the 16 of Josh Miller. And great jump. Boy, Newman got a hole shot that time and launched out early in this one here. Again, they come down the back straightaway as they roll it again down the chute. And boy, leave it no doubt with a big lead. We got a machine off the pace out here. And again, looks like we're back and running, but out front, it's Dave Newman looking good. That photo team. Well, that thing is fast, folks. And I'll tell you, the old twin tracker doing a nice job for a little bit, but then Josh Miller in the 16 got by the 99 of Carson Snare. Snare doing a nice job with that twin tracker today. Staying right in the thick of the hunt also. 
and that's good to see also. But Newman way out front here right now. Miller in second. Snare. Fall again by Bob Wagner in the 62. Good run by him. Okay, Newman in the 54 with the lead here right now. Nelson sitting in second. There's Snare coming by. Megan Wagner in that number four spot. They come up here again. White flag waving out here right now this time by as they come again. And pretty much all by himself. Newman is sizzling around this racetrack. Ooh, and Snare's machine quitting on him right now. And here they come off turn four. Red flag's waving out there right now. We might have a reset. Okay, Newman picks it up, and we'll wait and see here. If that is a final error, as Newman come to and took the checkered flag. Okay, looks like everybody's pulling off on the back over there right now. We got a dead sled coming up here to pick somebody up. Okay, we're waiting. I don't think this is officially done. I see a couple sleds still on the track down there. Carson Snare still sitting down there yet on the twin track. Waiting here to see if they come back. They're... Okay, I'm thinking there might be a one lap finish this one here again. Uh, we do need to get the unofficial race winner, Dave Newman, back out again here, though. As he had gone to his pit area. Okay, here comes Snare up. Okay, we'll wait and see. Now, Newman, yeah, Newman thinks he won the race, although I guess uh, so he's pulled into the pit area. And now if you go into your, off the track, it would be a DQ, so we'll wait and see what's going on. Okay, everybody, just kind of waiting for just a second again here. We believe we lost Josh Miller over there in turn two. Had another issue there. He was running good. And yeah, we're taking a look out here. I see some sleds coming up here right now. Okay, here they come. Oh, wait, no, there's a 62 of Wagner up here right now. And the 16 and the 99 of Carson Snare. So apparently, uh, okay, and away they go again. A lot of spinning out there that time. And this time, the 16, I think it's just a one lap shootout here, and if I'm not mistaken, here, we'll wait and see. But your leader right now, Josh Miller. Now, Newman did go to the pit area, so apparently, it'd be a DQ there. We'll wait and see. But again, right now, it looks like coming to the flag, Josh Miller, and that 16's going to come by and take the checkered flag. Miller is going to be your race winner. And the IFS 240X final here right there again. Okay, there we go. So that will wrap that up. And that will now bring us to a plow break, everybody. We're going to uh, do another plow break before we come back again. And, of course, the next race up uh, will be, uh, let's see, what is it? Oh, I guess it's a 98 and older F500s. And then... Uh, the 85 Super Stocks. Okay, there we go. So, 
We'll get that set for you again. Well, again, everybody, thanks for watching and hang tough here. We're going to take a little break here, do one more plow break of about 12 to 14 minutes again, and then we'll be back here again with more racing action here as we come up with our final 12, I think 11 or 12 races of the day here. So again, hang tough, folks. We'll be back here very shortly. This live broadcast of CMPR, Ice Oval Racing, is brought to you by Right Stitch Monogramming, Rickard Excavating, Scott's Auto Body, T&K Transport, and Vintage Snowmobile Magazine. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales is a proud sponsor of CMPR. Your local Power Sports one stop shop, servicing snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs, and motorcycles. It offers a full line of parts with a huge variety of engine parts on hand for all makes and models. They also have a full line of enclosed and open trailers. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales proudly serving you for over 40 years. Plan to attend the Millbank Show and Swap, celebrating 60 years of the cat. Thursday through Saturday, June 2nd, 3rd and 4th in Millbank, South Dakota. Featuring Arctic Cat Sleds. Enjoy the free hog roast along with free hams beer and free 1919 root beer. That's the Millbank Show and Swap June 2nd through the 4th. For more information visit millbankshow.com. auctionblock.com first with online equipment auctions in 1999 first in worldwide registered users sell with a leader auctionblock.com call auctionblock today 218-483-7880 Hey, I'm PJ Wonderscheid. Welcome to the wonderful world of Country Cat. With a four-time world champ at the helm, fast, reliable, online ordering is exactly what Country Cat provides. From FXR, 509, Climb, to Arctic Cat, all the best clothing and accessories on the planet. ATVs, UTVs, Easy Go Golf Carts are backed by one of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealers. For fast and free shipping on most orders over $39, log on to CountryCat.com. That's CountryCat.com. Okay, I want to welcome everybody back again, watching again on Cool TV. I want to thank you all for joining in with us here today as we get ready. We're going to start off with race number 43 coming up here right now out of 53. So, uh, right now, we got some big ones coming, folks. We got the Pro Light final coming up. We got that Super Stock 440 Liquid Cool coming. And, of course, the big one that uh, final race of the day, the 53rd race, will be the F500 uh, AMA. And that should be fun, too. But right now, we got the 98 and older 500 fan IFS machines coming up. And again, we'll have nine machines in this one here. Uh, this is another final here. Adam Bregelman will be back out again on his 717 machine. Tayden Nelson on the Spicer on the 911. Justin Marthaler again out of Alexandria, Minnesota on the 22. And then, of course, Corey Thorson again on the 528 again. And then keep an eye, Ty Hagen again also comes out back on that 72X machine where he's really done a nice job of that thing. Uh, and then... Uh, Brandon Kilbus comes out also on the 731 again. We'll keep an eye on him on that. He's had a good run with that machine also. So we'll see how that plays out for Brandon on that one there. And then also, let's see, Randy Newman again out of Oseka. So bring the 83X Rupp out again. Then, of course, Connor Jost out of Alexandria in the Mies Outland. Number 50 joins the field. And the guy that's had a good run today has been the 98 of Trevor Betterman. I think Trevor's done a nice job out there again. And uh, he's done a super job running here. So, uh, again, we'll get set to go here. For our final 10, 11 races here, they're going to come up in a hurry here. That's what they go down again. All finals. I think we got one B main coming up, and there comes a 731 rolling in. Brandon's going to pull that machine into, 
his possession. See Jost in the 50 up there, the 9-11. Looking for Tate Nelson exploding, pulling off here again. Marthaler is a good veteran, been doing this for a long time. Again, Justin almost a threat to win. And on the outside, keep an eye on that 520 to Corey Thorst. They dropped the green, good start out there. And that 72, Ty Hagen got a good jump that time. Now, Ty doesn't normally run this machine a lot, but boy, he got a great start. And if you get him out front, you can be in trouble in a hurry down the back straightaway. And I believe Ty Hagen's going to be your leader, at least right now. But he's got company coming in a hurry as another machine cl closes in on him coming off a of turn four. And they complete lap one. It's going to be Hagen in the lead, followed by Jost in the 50. Newman on the 83X and Marthaler on the 22, your top four. And the rest of the field behind them kind of scattered out a little bit, but a good race back there for that battle for fifth also as those guys go back and forth. Meanwhile, at the front of the pack again, it's Ty Hagen holding on to the lead. Connor Jones going to see if he can reel him in again here right now. Hagen looking good down that front straightaway. Joe staying right with him again. Marthaler's now moved into third, followed by Newman on the 83, running four fifth. And then the 528 out there again of Corey Thorson in the number five spot. Corey Thorson doing a solid job. Ty Hagen again comes around this time by. He'll complete lap number three in this 98 and older 500 fan IFS final here. Now Joe starting to close up a little bit again. Here comes Connor Joes. He's caught up to the back of Hagen. And I tell you, all of a sudden, Connor Joes, we could have some fun here yet. Hagen down the back straightaway, stretches it out a little bit, gets a little bit of breathing room again. Let's see if Jost can pull in one more time. White flag going to wave this time by. Ty Hagen hanging on to that lead, trying to seal the deal. Jost closes up one more time. Jost goes into one and two, dives underneath him a little bit. Boy, he was right there that time. Couldn't quite finish it off. Now, again, Hagen pulls away down that back straightaway, a little bit faster down the chutes. Here comes Jost, one last surge as he comes into three and four. He closes up everything he's got. He's right behind him on the backside. He dives underneath him on the front straightaway. And Hagen's going to hang on and get the win. Jost in second. Good job there. Third place will be Marthaler in the 22. I believe Newman was running fourth. We'll see how this plays out here right here as they come to the flag and wrap this one up. And there, yep, it is going to be Randy Newman in the 83, followed by the 717 of Adam Brigelman. Brigelman was running back at about seventh, made a late surge, and Adam come up and picked up a number five place finish that one there. Nice job by Adam on that one there. Okay, now we'll move on to race number 44, your 1985 and super stock, zero to 400 singles coming out here again, 85 and older super stocks here. Tucker Braith, the young, uh, talented star out of Staples, Minnesota, and at number 40, this young kid's fun to watch. He comes out, keep an eye on the Arctic Cat. Greg George out of Princeton, Minnesota, has been so good out there on that number 11 machine. He's very good, as is Pierre Jensen, the veteran, out of St. Cloud, Minnesota, on the number 86, Clay Bosberg. Bosberg comes out again also here on his familiar number 62 machine. He's been doing that for a long time. Then you got uh, Clayton T. Schaefer on the 29 rolling up out here again. And Colton T. Schaefer on the 29T was scheduled to make the start also, so we'll wait and see. Okay, we are about ready. Get set again one more time. Keep an eye on your head flag man down there again. Mike Stratichuk gets ready to take a look as he comes off again, throws the green. Here they go. Good jump out there by the 62 of Clay Bosberg. Osborne got the early jump in this one, but again, right away, the 11's going to come up there in a hurry, and that's the one you got to beat with the speed down the back straightaway, and again, down the shoot, they go side by side. Greg George in that number 11 out of Princeton now pulls that old cat of his up into the lead. Remember, these are single bangers, but they're really not the easiest thing to ride because you got to lean. They're pretty narrow, and if you get in trouble, you can flip one of these babies in a heartbeat. There's your leader, George. Running second, Tucker Braith in that 40. Tucker came out of nowhere and got things going, too. Good job by Tucker as he pulls out there down the back straightaway, hanging on second. Nice. Tucker's been fun to watch. This young guy here is going to win a lot of races before these all done, too. But right now, right, the guy that they got to all beat has been so good all season. He's one of our leaders in wins this season, and that's been Greg George on that 11 up there. Greg just very good. Again, white flag that time by. Here it is. Again, these old single bangers say, don't carry the same speed, but like I said, uh, you better be using your body to kind of control the turns, otherwise you can be upside down in a heartbeat. Craig George into turn number three. Takes a look again. He'll come off of turn four, coming to the flag. Here he is. And Greg George looking good. He's going to get the win out there on the 11. 
Tucker Breach second out there, third with the Blasberg in the 62. And Pierre Jensen rounding out your number four spot on the number 86. Now I think this is the only race that's not a final up here right now, and that'll be a B main for the F500s. Okay, here comes a B main for the F500s. Now Dalton Brott will be coming out again on his number 215 out of Butterfield. Ashton Christensen's been up and down very good to 29. Gavin Peterson will be on the sixth machine of his out there. And then you got the Tanner Davy out of Badger coming out on the 685. Hannah Westland, like I said, is going to be coming out again on her uh, Wall Brothers Racing number 113 out of Strathcona. Jared Jost, the Mies Alden, number 50, also rolling up there in the 50J. Uh, the old 49 just pulling into staging, you can see there. Uh, that's Andrew Stoey out of Detroit Lakes. Kendra Weston scheduled to make start. I don't think she'll make the start in this one here. Um, Aaron Bench, again, should be coming out on the number 33H. And then uh, Jordan Johnson also joined the field. Oh, no, it looks like Kendra is going to come out and at least make the start here. Takes the green, pulls off again. Okay, uh, again, like I said, Kendra, like I said, was injured in a nasty crash last weekend up at Strathcona, a, a tough one. So she's just got to let herself heal up a little bit. And she'll kind of ease her down there. In the front. You can tell she's kind of thinking, maybe I should make a few laps. But uh, I think her common sense is telling her, no, you just park that thing right now, Kendra. Uh, can you imagine if she led going in that first turn? I don't know if it got her to pull off. Okay, here they come again. Meanwhile, back in the pack of the F500 B main. This is the last one. Here they come side by side. Boy, good battle between Gavin Peterson and, and Dalton Ron. They're going side by side for the lead, and right behind them, it's a log jam. What a mess we got back there. Here they come down the back straightaway. Not a lot of separation again. No surprise there. As they come into three and four. B main coming up here again for the F500s. Peterson, Broughton in second, followed by Jost in the 50. And Ashton Christensen, solid run by Ashton in that 29. They had t handling issues with that machine, trying to get the thing to turn, and now uh, they've done a nice job, and all of a sudden Christensen's gotten to be a factor here. Boy, that makes a big difference. You, if you can get them things to turn around the corners, you're in good shape. Here they come again. So far, it's still going to be the six of Gavin Peterson looking good in the front of the pack. Broughton sitting in that number two spot, fading back just a little bit. The third place battle heating up pretty good here right now. Jost is in a dogfight back there with Ashton Christensen uh, for that number three spot. They're going back. And same thing with that fifth place battle. A good one there. White flag out there right now for your race leader again, Broughton. Otto Westland now has moved up around into the number five spot on her 113. Again, not a good start for Westland. That made a big difference in this race again for her. If you can get out of that shoot up toward the front, you're going to be good. But, boy, you got to start back behind all of them. It's tough. Checkered flag waves. There it is. Your race winner is going to be Gavin Peterson. Broughton in second. Jost in third. Christensen in fourth. And Hannah Westland in fifth. That's your top five. Now we're going to move on to race number 46 coming up. Okay, and this will be our 1985 and older 400 single super mods. And there will be six of them in this one here. you got John Warner coming out again on the number 84. T.J. Braith going to have T.J. back out again on the number two machine. Phil Rupp again also coming up to join on his familiar number 26 out there again. And, of course, Phil out of New London, Minnesota. Greg George out of Princeton on the number 11. Going to be back out again with uh, Pierre Jensen on that number 86 again. Pierre, I guess, out of Clear Lake, Minnesota, down there by the St. Cloud area. And Clay Blosberg on that number 62 machine also. Clay, I think, is out of Alden, Minnesota, if I'm not mistaken. Or Bradford, excuse me. There, there it is. Okay, away we go. Blosberg got the whole shot again. Hey, Clay's done a nice job. He's done some work on that thing and been really getting some good starts. Now can he hold it again with the, the very fast number 11? Look at this, they're four wide on the back straightaway right now. And these old gals are getting after each other pretty good, these old machines they're riding in. And these guys know how to handle them, boys. They do a good, super job. They come off again, and some of these guys doing a great job taking some of these older machines up. There it is going to be the 11 to the lead right now. And, of course, you know who that is, Greg George, followed by DJ Braith out there. 
Wraith looks like he's riding a Viking out there right now. Remember, they used to make them up there in northern Minnesota many years ago. Well, that's a long time ago, but uh, pretty cool. And you stop and think of all the different manufacturers there were at one time of snowmobiles. Not many left. Again, they come off turn four right now. Only the strong survive, like they say. Here they come down that front straight away again. And look at this. Brace is caught up to the outside. And a good battle between he and George. I've not seen that. And George normally has not had any trouble uh, holding on, but right now he and Braith are going at each other back and forth. Now George slides ahead a little bit. They're coming to the checkered flag. Let's see who's going to win this thing here. 85 and or, or, older, 400 singles. As they come off a three and four, boy, they're still locked up in a dead even battle to the flag, and it's going to be boy. Ooh. You give two? Okay, we think it looks like, and according to the TV, just a little bit, I believe the two might have got that by that much, which I mean is about three inches. <laughs> And it might have been less than that. So, again, D.J. Braith unofficially gets the win, followed by Greg George in second on that number 11. How about that? Wow. Well, let's move on to race number 47 now coming up, folks. Out of 53. We're really coming down that home stretch now. And this race here, you're going to have our junior 1-380 sprint. And boy, here come the kids out. There's Cassidy Becker. She's ready to roll again on that number 13 right alongside of her. Claire Jensen on the familiar number 27. Tucker brought in the old five comes out. Levi Lurkey out of Hellock in the number 99. Nolan the Skirk out of Andover in the 816. Waylon Winters again out of Butterfield on the 215. Hunter Johnson out of Drayton, North Dakota on the 59. Trevor Betterman on the number 98. And Carly T. Schaefer uh, on that number 29C. So there we go. Again, the kids are ready to go. Let's see how this thing plays out. Good race. They come up. Good start. And away we go. Good battle up there right away. Again, like I said, this should be a fun one. Remember last weekend up north here, again, we got to see Cassidy Becker get her first ever career win, and boy, that was a wild race. As she pulled off a big one in that one there. We'll see if she can come back in, but right now, it looks like at the front of the pack, uh, looks like the 59 Hunter Johnson, and AJ's out there again, too. Boy, I'll tell you what, doing a good job. AJ Rickard out of Glencoe running again. The rest of the field pretty well mixed up in between here a little bit. And again, leading the field in here, A.J. Rickard coming out here again. But now Hunter Johnson's taking the lead. Hunter Johnson sitting on the lead. Rickard running second. As they roll it one more time down that front straightaway, coming up in the number three spot out there. Is Tucker Broughton on that 05. Tucker solid that number three spot. Back in the pack, everybody else starting to tighten up, and that's some pretty good racing out there again. Still green flag out there. Again, Hunter Johnson, Tuck. Again, A.J. Rickert running one and two. So those two kids have got their machines dialed in pretty good here in this one here right now. Cotton still in third. Again, the rest of the kids all kind of just scattered out behind them a little bit here. A.J. comes out again. White flag should be coming next time by. Is this one here. Uh, they're going to get into lap traffic here right now. Boy, like I said, the two lead slits are really cooking out there right now. Carrying a lot of speed. Hunter Johnson, young 13-year-old out of Drayton, North Dakota, coming down here again. Okay, there it is. White's going to wave for him that time. My checker flag will be coming on next time. Johnson in the lead. Rickert's not far off behind him. As they get into lap traffic, you got to be careful. If you get bottled up behind somebody, all of a sudden you can have company in a hurry. Again, we'll see how this thing plays out off of three and four. One of the sled's going to pull off on the back straightaway out there right now. Uh, your leaders are going to come to the flag. Let's see how it is. And it looks like uh, they come again. There it is. There comes the 99. Okay, and I believe unofficially it's going to be uh, Hunter Johnson with the win, followed by A.J. Rickard in the number 78 machine. Or 76, excuse me. Okay, well, that brings us to race number 48, and we're going to do another quick plow break before the Pro Light final comes up again. And this will be our 0 to 300 Super Mod. And of course, this includes the Super Stock 340 fan machine. Uh, there will be eight entries in this one here. And again, we'll get ready to go here again. Marcus Iverson, the 727. Should be coming out on this one again. 
Marcus down here again tonight out of Langdon, North Dakota this afternoon. Jasmine Braith out of Staples, Minnesota will be on the number 41. Watch her. Then the veteran Joe Burns comes out on his 47 again. Brennan Kilpis comes out also on the number 587. And then you got John Paget again, the Paget Cycle Shop, number two out of Brainerd, Minnesota. Also coming up, and A.J. Rickert's going to be right back out again. Out of Glencoe on his number 76 machine, that record excavating machine. Todd Schoten again comes up in the 18X, also joining in again, Todd Schoten. And Trevor Betterman will be on the number 62 on there. There you can see Trevor in there right now. There's Paget out here coming on the outside on the number two. Okay, here they come, here we go. They jump out in a hurry, and Jasmine Braith in that 41 gets the lead as she explodes into turn number one. Boy, she didn't leave any doubt on that one there. She's got a great launch. Down the back straightaway right now, Jasmine Braith leads the field down into turn three. You see that ponytail waving behind her helmet back there. She, she can flat out wheel that thing, boy. She'll just squeeze the trigger and hang on. Here they come off of turn four. Jasmine in the lead here right now so far. It looks like, I think that's A.J. Rickert running second right now, and he's going to try to run down Jasmine as they come down the back straightaway. And he might be the one sled here fast enough to go by her, and here he comes on the outside. Rickert's going to dial it up as he heads into turn three. He gets on the inside of Jasmine, then going into turn three and four. She stays on the trigger right with him as they come off of turn four side by side, and she three takes the lead. She cuts him off, off of turn four, holds back again. A.J. comes back. Oh, that's not A.J. Oh, okay, Brandon. Is that Brandon Kilbus or something? Kill Brandon Kilbus sitting second. Now they're good battle for the lead. Again, Jasmine Braith comes off. Checkered flag's going to wave. Who's it going to be? And they get the flag. And the 587 does get the win. Kilbus second will be Jasmine Braith. Third will be A.J. Rickard. And fourth will be the two out there of John Paget. Okay, that completes 48 out of the 53 races, folks. Uh, we are going to do a... We are going to do a quick plow break here again right now, race fans, uh, before we bring out the Pro Light final. Of course, you got to have the track clean for them guys because of the speed they carry. So we're going to take a, about a 10, 12 minute break. We'll make these try to make these a little quicker if we can here down the home stretch. I know it's uh, going to be a, a long battle out here today, but well, it's, like I said, some great racing to coming up. We want to make sure we give you the best show possible. So again, on behalf of Cool TV, we can't thank you enough for watching on out there. You folks stay warm, but don't go away yet. We're going to be back here again in a few minutes. So bear with us here. We'll shut it on for a few minutes. We'll be back here very shortly again with, again, the Pro Light final coming up here in just a little bit. This live broadcast of CMPR, Isoval Racing, is brought to you by Bright Stitch Monogramming, Rickard Excavating, Scott's Auto Body, T&K Transport, and Vintage Snowmobile Magazine. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales is a proud sponsor of CMPR. Your local Power Sports One Stop Shop, servicing snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs, and motorcycles. It offers a full line of parts with a huge variety of engine parts on hand for all makes and models. They also have a full line of enclosed and open trailers. Northern Crankshaft NC Sales proudly serving you for over 40 years. Plan to attend the Millbank Show and Swap, celebrating 60 years of the cat. Thursday through Saturday, June 2nd, 3rd and 4th in Millbank, South Dakota. Featuring Arctic Cat Sleds. Enjoy the free hog roast along with free hams beer and free 1919 root beer. That's the Millbank Show and Swap June 2nd through the 4th. For more information visit millbankshow.com. auctionblock.com first with online equipment auctions in 1999 first in worldwide registered users sell with a leader 
auctionblock.com. Call auctionblock today, 218 483 7880. Hey, I'm PJ Wondershide. Welcome to the wonderful world of Country Cat. With a four-time world champ at the helm, fast, reliable, online ordering is exactly what Country Cat provides. From FXR, 509, Climb, to Arctic Cat, all the best clothing and accessories on the planet. ATVs, UTVs, Easy Go Golf Carts are backed by one of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealers. For fast and free shipping on most orders over $39, log on to CountryCat.com. That's CountryCat.com. Okay, I want to welcome everybody back watching on Cool TV. We are getting ready right now for the Pro Light final. It's a 10 lapper, and these babies are going to fly around here. Your uh, machine's coming out. Look like this. Brennan Sather will be coming out. He'll be on the number 27. That's the auctionblock.com machine. Also joining him will be Cale Fredrickson. Fredrickson comes out of Center City, Minnesota, your 2019 Pro Light champion on the number seven. Uh, then you got Gavin Peterson. He's been a surprise. they very good on that number six machine. And then your world champion, Jeff Watson, coming again out of Princeton, Minnesota. Watson will be out there again on that northern crankshaft sponsored machine of his. Also joining the field, Colton Graber is a bullet. He comes again out of Clear Lake, Minnesota. He'll be on that number 96, uh, 964 machine. Excuse me for that there. And then the high-flying Connor Heights out there again. Uh, Connor comes up here again out of Zimmerman, Minnesota on that Northway Sports sponsored number H33. And then the young lady again all the way down here out of Drayton, North Dakota, Madison Phillips in that Polaris Wall Brothers Racing Jets and Plumbing, uh, number 87. She's your 2018 Women's F500 World champion so she's been there and done that to another great young town so there we go again this will be a 10 lapper coming up at you for the pro lights uh, we do have to one more plow break we only got about five races to go but unfortunately we got to do one more uh, be just before uh, that f500 that's going to be a 10 or 11 sled field again going for a thousand to win of course with the end of the series so we got want to make sure for safety and this time of day uh, we got another track clearance we apologize for that but, but let's get these next few races in here right now we're going to pop along here we'll bring the pro lights out as you can see if you take a look right now you can see them coming onto the track back there they're rolling out amongst the bales there one by one Gonna make the U-turn come. There's five I see so far. There should be un unofficially should be seven if they all make the start. Here we'll see how things are going by this time of the day. And it looks like yeah, they're coming on sled by sled. There comes this 964 coming up of Graber. There's the six. Keep an eye on Gavin Peterson. The six. Madison Phillips, the 87, the 27, the Sather, the H33, the Skidoo on the inside. Very fast also. Connor Heinz. So you got a nice mixture out here again. And, of course, you don't forget the world champion, Watson, on that nine machine, the Polaris of his. Well, let's see what happens here. We are set to go. This is going to be a 10-lap final coming up at you here. Pro lights, hang on to your hats. Let's get cut loose. Here they go. Oh, and pull it. No, the 964 would not fire. Not sure what's going on. Tough break out there again for Colton Graber, but it looks like uh, we are green, and it looks like we're staying green. I don't see any red. Okay, here they come again one more time as they come off turn four here right now. Lap number one coming to the flag. Watson, Heinz, and sitting in third is going to be Gavin Peterson. Let's see if they can run down your race leader. Earlier today, remember, Watson had the lead, but he was getting caught in five lappers. Now he's got to hang on for ten. He'll come into turn three. Jeff Watson, really good. As they come off here, the Red Reapers, they call him coming to the flag right now. Two down. Fredersen sitting in fifth place right now. Again, the field sets up down that back straightaway. Boy, and catching the field from the back of the pack. How about Colton Graber, folks? Remember, he, he was way behind everybody in that thing. Watson sitting in the lead. Graber was running seventh. He's now moved up into, I believe, fifth place as he continues to move forward from back in the pack. Boy, you can, if anybody was thinking he wish he could see a caution, you could better be him right now. But so far, things holding up. Watson looking good. The Red Reaper in charge. Followed by the six again of Peterson. And the seven out there again of Cale Fredrickson. They stretch it down the back straight away into turn three. Right now Watson starting to open up a pretty good gap. 
Put down the front straightaway. Boy, how about this, folks? Cole Graber was dead last. He's just moved into second place from the back of the pack, and he is the fastest machine out here. But now you can see he's got a lot of real estate. He's got time. Boy, if he pulls this thing off, it'd be the miracle on ice here again out here today. And Graber is really flying as he is closing the gap on Watson also. Remember, he was earlier today was quicker. Okay, here we go. By. We'll complete lap number seven this time by of ten. Again, Watson hanging on. Graber counting it down here right now. Now we'll move into lap number eight this time, too. A great surge from the back here again. Your race leader, Jeff Watson, Colton Graber. After that bad start, was dead last. Didn't look like he was going to catch anybody. And now up to second. There's eight down, two to go. White flag, I believe, will be coming out next time by. As they head down the back straightaway, Watson continuing to push along. Knows he's got to keep going. Graber doing everything he can do to get up there. The white flag is going to wave. It looks like Graber is going to run out of time. But, boy, what a surge as he continues to close the gap on the back of Jeff Watson. Boy, Graber charging down the back straightaway, continuing to close. Jeff Watson's got the lead into turn three. Colton Graber is coming up in a hurry. Here he comes off four, and Jeff Watson's going to hang on. Graber, not far behind him. How about that for a comeback kid of Colton Graber in that 964? That was something to see. Third place went to the sixth of Gavin Peterson. Wow. That was something. Great job. Again, Jeff Watson's going to get the win and pick up some very serious points. Again, in that Pro Light Series, remember that auction block Pro Light Series has also got a bunch of big money here right now. Now, Colton Graber, remember, was second in the points, so he's still going to be in good shape there. Madison Phillips going to be right there also. Now we got the women's uh, F500 IFS Open here. Now, normally we'd have three of them. I think we're only going to have a couple here. Hanna Westland's been very fast all day. She'll be in the Wall Brothers Racing, number 113. Uh, big sis Kendra Westland's been taking the day off because of an injury. Again, taking her time out there again. Uh, she was scheduled to run up against her. And, uh, she's the women's world champion on the 113. Also coming out. And then Jasmine Braith will be on the 137. Here's Jasmine up here right now. This should be a pretty good battle. Braith has got a really good sled out there, as does Hanna Westland. So these two young ladies are going to go at it here right now. The F500 open race number 50 out of 53 on the day. Here we are about setting, set to go. They drop the green. Hanna gets the early jump in this one. Jasmine going to pick it up behind her now. And again, as they come down the back straightaway, they crank it up in a hurry here right now. These are two very, very fast young ladies again as they run these machines. Boy, and Weston, like I said, you've seen her today. She has really found some speed in that machine of hers. And it just hasn't had the good start she'd like. Weston with a pretty good push. Jasmine says, i got to get a little more use to this machine because if I'm going to try to run with Hanna, this is not going to be easy. As you can tell right now, right now, Hanna Weston in good shape down that back straightaway as she really starting to open things up in this one here. Wessel will come by and open up lap number two with a pretty big cushion here. Great. Okay. Don't sound like the 137's missing a little bit on it right now, so that might be an issue there. And as you can tell, uh, the 113 is not missing a lick. It is just sitting out there sizzling here. She'll complete lap number three this time by. Our women's F500. Of course, big sister is the women's F500 world's champion. And Hanna someday would like to take that thing with her also. Now they go into turn three. Should be getting a white flag out. Here she comes out here right now. White flag coming out here. As the separation continues to build up again. Hanna Weston is your leader coming down that front straightaway. you got to remember, Hanna's used to running with the guys too. So this, uh, you know, like I said, these both these gals uh, run a lot of men's races. And they're very, very competitive. So... Uh, they're not holding anything back, but this is a special, you know, like I said, this is a, they're, they're a serious race here for these gals here right now. And coming off your F500 women's winner today is going to be Hanna Westland and that at 113. Strong run by her and a nice job by Jasmine Braith. Like I said, the machine's off the pace a little bit. You can see it not running real good, but she's going to limp that thing in here anyway, and Jasmine's going to pick up second on the 137. That will bring us to race number 51 right now. And that will be our Super Stock 440 Liquid Cool Final.
And we'll get ready as Dave Rieger out of Little Falls, Minnesota, comes out on the 156. Andrew Stowe comes out on the old 49 machine out of Detroit Lakes, Minnesota. Again, Zach Hilton back out again on that 731. You can see them lined up in there. Boy, Hilton's been good all day on that thing of his. Brandon Barber is a rocket on that 72X machine. Kyle Ludwig should be out there also on his 717 machine. Then you got Jordan Johnson on the number 11, I believe, should be coming out. And Jared Jost on the number 50 machine as they come out. Here they go. Stowe gets a good start on the Polaris on the outside. But again, like I said, it's a pretty even balanced field here right now. Race number 51 of 53. Now, again, they head down the back straightaway into turn three. Coming at you right now. Let's see if Stoey can hang on to that lead. Riegert also very fast out there as they come down here right now. And Dave Riegert's going to take that lead on the outside. Stoey's right with him again. So Polaris is running one, two, and that one there. Good battle back behind him again. Those first four sleds are really tight here. And again, down the back straightaway, let's see how things pull up again. That looks like it might be Zach Hilton coming, making a late surge again. Hilton's been good. As he comes up and sneaks up behind him again. White flag going to wave right here. Riegert in the lead out there. Stowe, Hilton's also joined in on this thing. And them first four sleds are bottled up. Look at this. I'll tell you what, they're as close before they started right now. And you can't tell who's where. All four going to turn three. Now they're diving at each other. And that's going to be a mess. Watch this off turn four. Hang on. Things are flying. They come by. And Nelson's going to get the win. I think Hilton got second as they upset everything on that last lap. And, boy, things got crazy to finish that one there. Good race. Yeah, yeah I think so. Dave Rickards is out there. And, and uh, Okay. Well, we'll get you all set here again right now. We got one more race here. That's uh, the race number 52. Now, we're going to run this, and then we do have to do a little bit of track cleanup before we run that big one here, that uh, final again for the F500. Okay, let's get ready. The 73 and older 0 to 400 Super Stock single race coming up here right now. Tucker Braith will be out there on the number 40. Phil Ruppel will be out there again on the number 26. Greg George out of Princeton, the 11. Uh, Clay Blasberg on the 62. Colt T. Schaefer on the 29T, I think. We'll wait and see. I don't see T. Schaefer out. So, again, it looks like just them four will come out again. Braith, Rupp. Braith on the 40. Rupp on the 26. George on the 11. Blasberg on the 62, and all four of these guys are bunched up in a tight pack down the back straightaway. Another good race out here again. I'll tell you, the vintage boys today are really getting after it. The guys and gals are making for some fantastic racing again today, and uh, pretty cool we get a chance to put this out here again. And a big shout out again to the great folks from Cool TV. There it is, your leader, the 11, looking good down the back straightaway, Greg George. Kevin, folks all around the country, don't forget the Detroit Lakes race next weekend will also be on Cool TV. So if you've got people anywhere in the country, I know i got a son of mine out in Portland, Oregon. They're going to be watching next weekend. That'll be a lot of fun also. Okay, that will be on demand, so you can rewatch the race anytime you want then by Monday afternoon. Okay, there it is. George with the 11, Blasberg running second. Uh, Braith and Rupp, all those guys right behind him, pretty close. Uh, I'll tell you, for some reason, that old number 11 managed to find some speed again. No surprise there. Greg George down the back straightaway. Boy, that cat of his. He's got that thing dialed up and looking good. The second, third, and fourth place. But look at those three sleds coming off of four. Here they come. It's going to be Rupp. Or excuse me. That's going to be Brandon Barber for the win. Second's Tucker Bray. Third is going to be Blasberg. And Phil Rupp on the 26 rounding out your top four. Okay, there we go. We got one big one to go, folks. But uh, for safety and the fact that it's such a big money race, we do have to clean part of the track. So we're going to need to take about an 8, 10-minute break here and clean this track up again. So if you see the screen go dark, we're not done yet. we got to come back out again. we got the F500 A main. You don't want to miss that. That ought to be something else to see. So uh, we're going to shut her down for just a couple minutes here. Uh, they're going to do a quick cleanup on this racetrack, and then we'll be back out with the final race day, the F500 A main. That should be fun. So we'll be right back here shortly. This live broadcast of CMPR, Ice Oval Racing, is brought to you by Right Stitch Monogramming. Rickert Excavating Scott's Auto Body T&K Transport and Vintage Snowmobile Magazine Northern Crankshaft NC Sales is a proud sponsor of CMPR Your local power sports one-stop shop 
servicing snowmobiles, ATVs, UTVs and motorcycles. It offers a full line of parts with a huge variety of engine parts on hand for all makes and models. They also have a full line of enclosed and open trailers. Northern Crankshaft NC sales proudly serving you for over 40 years. Plan to attend the Millbank Show and Swap, celebrating 60 years of the cat. Thursday through Saturday, June 2nd, 3rd and 4th in Millbank, South Dakota. Featuring Arctic Cat Sleds. Enjoy the free hog roast along with free hams beer and free 1919 root beer. That's the Millbank Show and Swap June 2nd through the 4th. For more information visit millbankshow.com. auctionblock.com first with online equipment auctions in 1999 first in worldwide registered users sell with a leader auctionblock.com call auctionblock today 218-483-7880 Hey, I'm PJ Wonderscheid. Welcome to the wonderful world of Country Cat. With a four-time world champ at the helm, fast, reliable, online ordering is exactly what Country Cat provides. From FXR, 509, Climb, to Arctic Cat, all the best clothing and accessories on the planet. ATVs, UTVs, Easy Go Golf Carts are backed by one of the world's largest Arctic Cat dealers. For fast and free shipping on most orders over $39, log on to CountryCat.com. That's CountryCat.com. Okay, welcome back, everybody watching on Cool TV. We're about ready to pick up the final race of the day. It's going to be the F500 A main. Of course, Country Cat, the Sox Center, uh, the world's largest Arctic Cat dealer, has put $3,000 purse money on this thing, and we have got a great lineup here. We're going to get the field set for you. Aaron Davies is going to be out there right now. He'll be on the 213 again out of Badger, Minnesota, in the JMS Motorsports Machine. Also coming up last week's winner, Justin Lundin. Lundin on the pick and forward machine out of Grand Forest, North Dakota. Also joins the porter party. Uh, then you got the 33 machine out there. That'll be Will Renson Brink out there again. Will's out of Malacca, Minnesota, and a high tech automotive machine of his. Then you got the Mies out at number 50, young Connor Jost. He's out of Alexander, Minnesota, on at number 50C. The 137 is going to be Ty Hagen. Hagen again comes out of New London. He'll be in the Hartman Construction Machine of his. He'll be on that one there. And then the 815, the veteran Dan Iskirka comes out, out of Andover in a fly racing EVL Nutrition, uh, number 815 out of Andover. And then also after that, you've got, uh, believe, the 965. Keep an eye on this high flyer here. That's going to be Austin Graber out of Clear Lake, Minnesota, flying up there again. Jason Smoody last week was a missile in that number six out there. Watch him here. You can see the pink and forward Lundin last week's winner up there. The world champion, Jeff Watson, the Red Reaper, joins up also out there in that northern crankshaft, number nine machine of his. There you can see Renson Brink on the TV screen out there. And Tanner Foss in the 111 right next to the 33 of Renson Brink is Watson, the world champion. There you can see the 124 of Lundin, the 965 of Graber, and the 137 of Ty Hagen on the outside. As you look to your TV screen, what a lineup this is. This is going to be seven laps. It's going to take about three minutes. And this is going to take them. Get ready to drop their green. Here we go. Watson got a good jump, and we go into turn one, six wide. They go in here, hang on, be safe, guys. Boy, this is going to be a tough one here. They come down that back straightaway, getting dusk out there right now. And about 100 miles an hour down the back straightaway, the freight train rolls in. Oh, boy, hang on. Here it is again. They come up as they come off a of turn four. They're going to complete lap number one. Coming to the flag, it looks like Watson's going to be your early leader. No, it's going to be the 213. Aaron Davey out of Badger, Minnesota's got the early lead. Davey looking good right now. And right now he's got a little bit of breathing room down the back straightaway. Davey cranks it up, and boy, they're coming after him right now. Oh, hang on right here as they go into turn three. Davey hangs on. Lundin moving into that number two spot. At least he was a minute ago as they come down. Davey's still in the lead. Lundin, Watson third right now. As they come up here again, and behind that, they're 
two and three wide. Boy, and I'll tell you what, they're taking no prisoners in this baby. I'll tell you, wow. Down the back straightaway. How about Aaron Davey? Can he pull this thing off? That young gunner out of Badger, Minnesota, is driving a heck of a race. He'll come by to complete lap number three of seven. And hanging tough, it's Davey. Lundy. Watson still up there. Again, they go down into turn number one, setting up again down the back straightaway. Again, they crank it up one more time. Okay, as they come off here, let's make sure again, coming up here again, Aaron Davey will complete lap number four, I believe, right here. Here it is. Lundy, Watson sitting in third. Tough break out there. Watson might be a DQ in a thing. It looks like there's a piece of debris on the racetrack that came off his machine, and that will lead to a DQ, and that will wait and see. But Davey's going to come by lap number five. Can he hang on? Aaron Davey, this will be the, one of the biggest wins of his career as he continues to fly. Lundy, Watson right with him again. I believe Renson Brake has now moved up into fourth and a 33. Now the battle for second heating up as they go back and forth. They make it surge down the back straightaway. Coming up in a hurry here right now. We'll get ready. Should have a white flag coming. Here it is. Aaron Davies got one more lap, but can he hang on? Lundin and Watson going back and forth. Renson Brake in fourth right now. Last lap as they roll it down the back straightaway. The second place battle. They keep trading spots back and forth in a dogfight for that number two spot. Aaron Davies going to drop her into turn three. And how about this? The young gunner on the bench is going to pull this one off here. Aaron Davies going to win this thing. Second place, Lundin Watson third. Renson Brink in fourth. And, man, hang on after that. Wow. How about that, everybody? Well, there we go. And, again, like I said, that will put the wraps on our show here today. And, of course, congratulations to Aaron Davies on the win. Picking that one up. Now, don't forget, now, next Saturday, we're going to Detroit Lakes, Minnesota, again, for the Winterfest up there. Uh, I want to thank all the great folks from Cool TV. They're going to be on again. I think our racing starts at 11 on Saturday morning. That should be a fun day. It'll be done a little earlier than, too, as we start earlier. So, again, I want to thank all you folks for watching on Cool TV today. Uh, we're going to back her down right now, let these guys get cleaned up, and we'll catch you again next Saturday, again, as we get set to go here from Detroit Lakes on more Cool TV. The Vintage Ice Racing here brought to you by Central Minnesota Pond Racing. Thanks, everybody. We'll see you next weekend.